I need to buy a piece. Yeah, but who the hell are you to be needing something like that? I wanted to see you for Claire's sake. She's gonna need a father. You ever tried to find a job? Oh, no, 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 you don't want to be doing that. Bring What's that little that. slut doing here? Who invited you? Get out! What's the matter now, Sheila? <laughs> Try picking on someone who can at least walk properly. You might find the challenge interesting. We should let me go. We try to save lives. Just in case. Have you OD'd before? No. It helps if you tell me. I am. How long have you been using? About three years. The amount we found in your system, you're lucky to be alive. When can I get out of here? The doctor will be in to see you shortly. You should know we carried out some tests and there's something you might not be aware of. Did you know that you were expecting a child? I'll come in and see you later. What kind of a place do you say this was? A hotel. What kind of hotel? The kind people sleep in? No, I mean, what class of hotel? A kind with class. You're so helpful, Barney. We aim to please. I thought you said this place was open. It is. Dark. Yeah, well, it's the fashion these days. This must have been a storage room. A storage room with a few secrets and its own license. Now that's a hotel. That's a hotel with class. <laughs>
Bliss in a minute. If we get the timing wrong, we are fried, son. You can do this, right? Yeah. Now remember, one box and one box only. Let's go. So we're all good then. See ya. you reckon we got? A thousand per bag, ten thousand total. That's a lot of happiness in one box. <laughs> ah, it is. Just as long as it's someone else's happiness. Who are we going to sell it to? Anyone. Got to stay off the Matthews parcel, right? I'd love to see Stephen Matthews' face right now, you know. I'd love to show if I want it. <laughs> There's a feeling which all city dwellers know, regardless of job, position or creed. That uncanny mix of fear and anger, where everything around you turns hostile, where you walk alone, praying no one will talk to you in case you can't find the words to answer. When you have nothing to hide behind, no walls of privacy of any kind, this feeling is accentuated Sometimes the fear takes you over and the anger starts to build inside. Anger at the madness, at the sheer foolishness of it all. More than once I had been to the edge of that anger and had to struggle to control it. You took your time. Last friends you have. Oh, they're not friends, they're fans, they can't get enough of me. <laughs> Must be a jack for you. Unbearable. Anyway, come with me. I've got somewhere I want to show you. <sighs> oh, this is yours? It is now. You've got yourself a palace. My kind of palace. Not too many guards. How'd you find it? Oh, they're all over these places. Old churches, abandoned houses. All ready for the picking, but kept empty by the forces of greed. Why don't they just house people here? Ah, oh, the big question. How can one own empty space? How can one prevent others from owning empty space? And to what end? Your answer lies in politics, I'm afraid, of which I pretty much know nothing. <sighs> Seems crazy. Oh, it is crazy. But there's a few of us making sense of it. That's why we're here. I've got to hand it to you, Barney. Seems you've uncovered yet another secret. Ah, uh, Harvey's the one, really. I learned it all from him. I had it easy, but Harvey, Harvey met the devil and stared him right in the face. Never short of a good time either. Oh yeah, we try our best. Whenever we find a new place, people follow. A kind of floating community for the lost and insane. You're welcome any time, by the way. We've got room for you. Do I qualify? We've been carrying that all day, you nut. Ever had a jackfruit cocktail? If you think this one is big, you should have seen the size of the one Harvey brought home. Come by later.
fine. Come on now, you're okay. So awful. Can you open the door for me inside? With no key. I'm calling the police. No, no, God, no, no. What then? Nothing. Okay. I'm getting you out of it. No, Vince, please. Leave it. Please leave it. You tell me who you are, I'll tear your eyes out. Hmm? Oh, you're just Lucy. Oh, yeah? Well, let's go and see her. You got a visitor? Okay, Josephine, what do you want from my girl Lucy, huh? I'm just a friend. What? I'm just a friend. Speak up, I can't hear you. I'm just a friend. Friend? Huh? Well, listen to me. I don't give a shit who you are. If I see you know my girl Lucy again, I will kill you. Do you hear me? Yeah. Am I clear? Yeah. Well, then get out! You're right. No more heroes now, baby. Come on. Vince, just in time. I thought you'd be gone. Been meaning to ask you, can you paint? You mean like paintings? I mean like walls. Um, yeah. What's wrong with you, man? You look like you've seen a ghost. Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, Lucy. 
She came to see you the other day at the center. She's in trouble. So, how can I help? I'm not sure, but we have to get her out of this place. What place? It's this guy, Marv. A pimp. Marvin Williams? You know him? Well, been around a few years. Works solo side, right? That's him. And you're saying Lucy's with him? Working? Yeah. She locked in? Yeah. She looks really sick. Okay. You know how you don't get yourself killed? By not steaming in there, which is what I presume you did. Should be okay. We'll get her out of there. But you gotta trust me. And you gotta listen to me. Okay? Right. Where are you staying tonight? Don't know. Might stay down at a squat that Barney and Harvey found. Should be entertaining. <laughs> yeah, really. Hope can come from the strangest places. How Vince's story could give me anything but grief, I'll never know. But something that night whispered to me, told me to let go. Things would be fine, it said, and I trusted it. Not out of fear or superstition, but because I could see no other way to continue. Hope, however dire the situation, would eventually rear its sleepy head. Okay, how's that? No. Okay, try it now! <laughs> There's no stopping us now! Harvey? <laughs> Hi, Barney said I could. You get that woman out of your mind. She's all over your face. Come in. Currently designing a space for you. Well, Vince, you'll be glad to hear we've sorted out the electricity, <laughs> sound system. And uh, the water, well, the water's a bit on the rusty side. But it's nothing we can't fix. It's quite a few leaks, but, well, some people think it adds to the charm. Now, you've got a fantastic south-facing room. Yeah. With, uh, as far as we can gather, the regular visits of a frog. Seems to like the water. Whether or not the frog's a princess, well, we don't know that, but she's got beautiful dark eyes. Barney. Barney's very taken with her. 